Hi everyone, Sherry from Granny's Sewing Room stopping in to say hi and make a short video. I want to give you some updates on my tailbone. Uh, it's doing pretty good. Uh, my pillow did come, so I'm sitting on my pillow, but I thought I'd show it to you. So let me get it up underneath me and I'll Oh yeah, makes me much taller though. <laughs> let me move you up. And then I want to give you an update on my sister. She's home from the hospital. Uh, she had a blockage and they had to put a stent in her LAD valve. That's blood pumping into the heart. Uh, so she is home, resting, doing well. So she wants me to thank you and I want to thank you for all your prayers uh, for my sister. So, and then the next thing is I finished my bra. I didn't cut these straps off, um, but my bra is done. I would model it for you, but it is pure see-through. So not going to do that, but it is done. I really like the bra. Uh, I'm going to make another one, but more fabric that you can't see through. I'm going to make a band that's smaller and before I work on the cups. The cups up on top are kind of, I'm kind of a sunken in chest, so I don't have enough uh, bosoms to fill the top up. And it could be just because the band is really too big. I have to put it on the last uh, eye here. so. It is, it's too big, so I'm going to make it 34 band and keep the same cup and work from that. But I will be making me another bra, but with the right straps that go with this pattern. And I am working on another dress, and that's the reason I thought I would make this short video. I wanted to, as I was putting on the neckband, I thought, oh my, I should show you how I do it. Uh, I follow the Ellie and Mac, uh, I forget her little name on, uh, the little gal that's on YouTube. I follow her, but I thought I would show you what she taught me the way I do it. I already got the neck band and one of the armbands on, but I would show you the next armband. Fingers crossed I don't mess it up now that I'm on camera. But, uh, so I got that dress cut out yesterday and looking through some of my fabrics and look at that pretty. So I think that's going to be a dress and I'm into the summer dresses right now and then this is going to be a dress and I just got this not too long ago and this is going to be a dress and I think this one's going to be on the one that uh, looks just like the same fabric from Pattern, Pattern Emporium the basic tee, but I think I'm going to try something I've never tried before. I'm going to try to uh, hack the pattern and I'm going to try to make a cowl neck on that pattern. And before I cut into this, I'll make a mock up and see, but I will let you know how that goes. So let me take you over and show you the dress that I'm making. This is my new dress. And I already have the neck band on, and I have this sleeve band on, but I'm going to do this one and let you watch me do it. So let me get my camera set up, and I will show you how I do it. And it's basically the same way the lady does it on the Ellie and Mac tutorials on YouTube. She does such a good job at teaching, and so let me show you what I learned from her. I, this is the armband. So I start out, I find this seam and I fold it. And then I clip the side right here and I put a pin. Then I'm quartering it right now. So then I put the seam with the clip and then I clip both, both sides here. Just a little snip out of it. And then I put a pin in there then I do the same thing to the bodice. For some reason, I always call my bodice the bounce. Why, I don't know. So I take the seams, 
line them up and I'm quartering my armhole. And I just put a clip in it. And get the other side. And the clip in it. Then I take my band and I attach it. And I attach the seam first. Now I sew just this little part right here on with my sewing machine so I can make sure those seams are lined up. Anyway, to the best that I could get them lined up. So, and let me look and see if that's seam is with that seam. It's off a little bit. Then I find the notch and I go around and find the notch I made on the arm. Line them up. Next notch goes to the top seam. Line that up. And the last notch. So I quartered it out. Now I gotta take you over to the sewing machine and show you what I do. The first thing I do is I want to make sure my seams are lining up. So I just stitch, do a couple stitches right here before I go to the serger. And they line up good. So now I'm going to the serger. And I'm doing a medium knit. That needs to be on three, five. Okay. You want to sew the band up on top when you're sewing. You start out with your seam give it a couple stitches to get it connected in there and I can't see now I stretch it to the first first notch and I line everything up I hope you can see me this is the first notch I hold on to it stretch it use my other two fingers as pins and go stop Find my next notch. Line everything up. Give it a stretch. Use these as my pins and go. Go to my next notch. I'm 
hold it, line everything up, and stretch, and go. Next notch. Use these two fingers as my pins, and go. And now I go press it. And let me take you over there so you can see me pressing. And this is the one I just did. I like to press from the inside. Lay it around the ham. And just work my way around. I love the clapper. It just has everything laced so nicely. And let's put it on my form and check it out. Now I could top stitch to hold this down, but I really don't think I need to. I did an extra large straight on this dress. Right, so I have my pockets pinned down. So I'm just gonna go over and sew these straight down on each side and I'm gonna do that for both sides of my skirt. Then I'm going to join my skirt on the side. Then I'll quarter my skirt out just like I did my uh, arm and neck bands. And then I will put the gathering stitch in and gather it up and lay it on my uh, uh, top. So I'll get that sewed out and get that done and show you the finished product probably tomorrow. Alright so I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how I do my neck bands. Uh, so I will end this video now. Has anyone told you you're special today? If not let me be the first because you are in God's eyes. And if you do me a favor, keep Rachel in your prayers. She's really needing our prayers uh, as sisters in Christ. So keep her in your prayers if you would. So you guys go out and have a great week. And I will talk to you soon. God bless everybody. Bye-bye.